Welcome to Marvel Cave. Walk up and down 700 stairs through winding passages, enormous rooms, and underground waterfalls. Learn about the lawlessness of the Bald Knobbers and how Marvel Cave helped build a town that still exists today. This is the largest entryway to any cave in all of North America. It's so large that we could actually fit the Statue of Liberty in here with room left over. Legend has it that the Osage Indians discovered the cave while hunting a bear. The bear and a hunter tumbled into the sinkhole, waking thousands of bats, which to the Indians symbolized the devil. They named the cave Devil's Den and put markings on trees around the sinkhole to ward off settlers. This worked until 1869 when miner Henry T. Blow rediscovered the cave. They started the Marble Cave Mining Company because they thought there was marble in the cave. They still started a mining town right above this sinkhole called Marmaros, and they, that was a very big town at the time the Marble Cave Mining Company was here. Now, when Henry T. Blow and the Marble Cave Mining Company found out there was no marble in the cave, they changed the name from Marble Cave to Marvel Cave. Blow's disappointment was short-lived when they started mining out valuable bat guano, which was used for gunpowder and fertilizer. Once the Marble Cave Mining Company got their stuff and they moved out, a man by the name of Mr. William Lynch purchased this cave for $10,000. And he was Canadian. He started giving cave tours with his daughters, Miriam and Genevieve Lynch. The Lynches would lower a 200-foot ladder into the sinkhole to get tourists in and out of the cave. Tourists had the option to explore the cave alone with only a candle to light their way. To increase interest in the cave tours, the Lynches placed a grand piano in the cave for opera performances. And Miriam could actually play piano and Genevieve would sing opera. And this brought a lot of people to the cave when they first started giving cave tours. The sisters donated the cave to the First Baptist Church of Branson and College of the Ozarks. The cave is now on a 100-year lease to the Hershon family who eventually built Silver Dollar City to provide greater entertainment for the cave's visitors. For more information on Missouri Caves, go to visitmo.com. Oh, I do anything.